Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in and checking this one out. So at some point in time, we have all heard the phrase that cricket needs a strong West Indies team. <laughs> well, our CEO, Johnny Grave, he recently spoke on a podcast and he was telling people to stop this, stop saying this, because it is ICC and other top cricketing nations that are doing everything to make sure that West Indies cricket remains weak. <laughs> um, he, this article here is brought forward by Sports Kida. They are covering the podcast that was done. So in this video, I am going to be reading a couple of pieces from it and you know i'm gonna give my commentary as usual so just give a listening ear let me know what you all think in the comment section and also remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel so this one as i said my people we, we will be reasoning through this one um so <clears throat> As we know, West Indies team, this team right now is not a dominant force in the world of cricket. Back in the 70s, 80s, we were extremely dominant. You understand? We had the talent and we had commitment. We had passionate players. You understand? Players that were not only motivated by what they were getting, you know, but they were motivated by other factors. Remember, people felt like one back then based on their color. You understand? And, and, and stuff. So people were well motivated to, to, to make sure that our race, you know, was being dominant and thing. Anyways, we see where Johnny Grave is now saying that this whole thing of people saying that cricket needs a strong West Indies team. ICC top cricketing nations need to stop saying this. Because they are a big part of the problem. And, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to go through it because this is where Johnny Grave has actually accused the International Cricket Council alongside major cricketing nations here of making sure that West Indies cricket team remain, remains weak. Right? Now, <clears throat> they are saying the fall of West Indies cricket has been a hot topic, especially since we were unable to qualify for the recently concluded ODI World Cup you know it has even before that you know it's it's been tough um separate and apart from the last from the, the the two T20 World Cups that we won prior to that I think the last major trophy we won was back in 2020 uh, well 2004 when we won the ICC Champions Trophy so you know we have really fallen from grace from winning those two first World Cup, you understand, in 75 and 79, you know, we, we, we and, and I think we went to the final, um, the last one in the 80s there when we got beaten by India, you understand, um, we, we, we haven't been the, 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 the same team since. So this is Johnny Grave here, and I quote, I think everyone is a bit sick of the phrase, world cricket needs a strong West Indies, when we definitely feel that world cricket is doing everything, right? They can at almost every level to make sure West Indies cricket are never strong again. Hmm. I think that's the um, born of frustration. Yeah, right? He was ref also referring to what Ian Bishop was saying, right? That um, this whole thing is a patronizing tone when they are saying that we, we need a strong West Indies um, team in, in, in world cricket. Right, he's saying that ICC and these top teams they are doing everything to make sure that we we, we, we are not um we, we are not back to the top. Right? Oftentimes we talk about um the, the leaders of West Indies cricket not uh paying the players properly, not giving the players enough to make sure that they remain uh, in the Caribbean, right? And, and and remain um available. But here we see our CEO diving into it and saying, and he's saying, listen, it's because of the whole revenue thing. 
they are not getting enough funding. You know, we always talk about that. They are not getting enough funding to really keep the players on board. So, the article here is saying that the West Indies problems have been both internal and external. Right? They are saying the International Cricket Council revenue model is lopsided, as we know, with the big three. The England, India and Australia, you know, getting the, 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 the bulk of the money. Right? They are saying that star players' availability has been uncertain due to um, the franchise thing, you know, going out and, 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 and getting franchise contract, which um, Johnny Grave is saying is partly because of the ICC, you know, not really leveling, leveling the playing field. Um, what well, well, we got to understand, still, you know, I understand from, from his point of view and, 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 and the fact that people would be looking at that, but <clears throat> we have fallen so far that <laughs> ICC, these people, they are operating a business, you know. They, they claim that they are in the business of um, growing cricket and promoting cricket and making sure that people are, are you know, all over are, are, are seeing, um, getting a chance to play and all of that. But at the end of the day, they are all about trying to secure sponsors, trying to secure, um, you know, TV rights and all of that. So I, I can't see these guys pumping too much money in to West Indies and the other associate nations to really get them back to the level of where India, England and, and Australia, you know, where those teams are. I can't really see them pumping the money that in it that would be required to, to try and hold players in to, to, to play for their for, to play for West Indies. I can't see them doing that. Because they are in the business of making money. You understand? At the end of every year or every four year, I can guarantee you that the ICC budget man is sitting down and, and looking and saying, well, this is what we, 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 we made. This is what we, we had to distribute to the, to, to the teams. And this is what we are, we, are, we are getting. We are breaking even when we do this with West Indies. We are losing when we do this with West Indies. But when we pump money into England, Australia and, 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 and the other teams and other top teams, listen, we are making back money based on teams buying the rights to these teams uh, uh, country buying the right to these fans going out and buying tickets we can make back this amount of money to put back into the wheel to keep it turning you understand we only need to put this amount into the West Indies into the into the other associate nations wheel to really keep them afloat but we need to pump this amount into the top three or top four teams to get back this amount of money you understand that is how they are looking at it it sounds weird but that is how they are looking at it now, Johnny Grave is saying that the percentage of revenue has gone down. And, you know, he's saying that even though ICC is talking about they have increased um, revenue for the mid-ranking teams, um, their share has actually fallen. So this is Johnny Grave. If you really want a strong West Indies cricket, it would actually not be that hard to do. Right? It would actually not be that hard to do a bit more. ICC are giving us more money in headlines, but our percentage of revenue has gone down from 7% to 5%, he's saying, with, um, which we struggle to understand. You know, he's saying that other teams, they have, well, BCCI, their revenue increased, their share increased from 23% to 30%. He's saying that Ireland and Afghanistan are the only two associate teams or teams at the bottom there that would have um, received significant significant raise recently. So he's saying that their share has fallen, but when you look at BCCI, it is moving from 23 to 30%. And as I said, it might sound, it might, it might sound rough, my viewers and subscribers, but I can guarantee you, these guys are looking and they are saying, what are how are they able to to get back money in their kitty how are they able to keep the wheels turning they are not worried about the fact that west indies you know they have a good history they have, there's a good history and at one point in time we were carrying the, the, the cricket on our back and we were promoting it all over the world with the, with with our with our um top guys you know when we had the the the, the, the the top teams going going undefeated um in series for for how many years they are not looking at them sort of things my people they are looking at now and future how they can keep pumping um how they can keep milking it you understand so Johnny Grave here calling them out 
it's good to see the top of West Indies, uh, CWI calling them out and saying it. You understand? Uh, people on podcasts like myself here, you know, when we say it, it probably don't have enough, too, too much weight. When past cricketers say it, it probably don't, don't turn too much heads. Um, too many heads, you understand? But when you have the, 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 the CEO, the guy that is in charge, come out and saying it, you know, and calling out uh, C, um, ICC, and they are able to pinpoint numbers you understand we probably don't know the numbers but when you hear guys like these coming out and saying listen we see where india share is moving from 23 percent to 30 percent or is move um dropping from seven percent to um or is dropping from seven percent to five percent simply means that you know what we're getting is is it's going backwards uh, you know top teams trending up but or is trending down as i said these people are operating a business. It might sound tough. We are passionate. We love with cricket. We want them to pump money. We want West Indies to be the best. But at the same time, we have to take off our, our West Indies fan hat and put it aside and think and say, are these people really going to do this? Because we were dominant once doesn't mean that they are looking and saying that a dominant West Indies team will um a dominant West Indies team will, will be good for, for, for cricket. They are saying it, but I don't know if they too believe it. You understand? Imagine, imagine all these, these people, imagine West Indies becoming dominant again. All the people from India, straight, um, India and, 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 and New Zealand and South Africa that used to support West Indies back then, they have grown to see their team become strong. So imagine West Indies grow and start, and start, um, start mash down all of these teams again. And they start, fans starting to, to, to pull. I see, see, now on them sort of things. You understand? I'm not saying that they, they won't look into it and find a way to help. But don't think for a minute that these guys are going to say, because we were dominant in the 70s and the 80s, they are going to pump a certain amount of money in it so that we can really come and wrestle with Australia and India at the top again. As much as it would be good to see, I don't know. I don't know. Just let me know what you all think in the comment section on this one, my people. I was reading this article and I just thought that, you know, on a, on a Sunday here, is a good reasoning one for us to, 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 to have a talk about. Go and leave it right here for now. Big up on yourself. Bless.